Hey Nemo's, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2015. Here's a thought for you. The year 2030 is just as far away as the year 2000. We've been having some really cold weather here. I, today's a pretty nice day, but we've been getting down to like 32 degrees at night, which I know those of you who live in really cold climates, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but when you use the California chill factor, 32 degrees here feels like, say, zero in Minneapolis. I was really hoping to spend a lot of time in my shop over this break, but as it turns out, I just har hardly had any chance to get into my shop. I've been spending a lot of time just working on business related stuff and the website and all of that. There's a lot of new stuff on the website. I hope you'll go check out formermortals.net. If you would like to post any of your original plans, I've got a a submission form on there where you can just upload them and then we can start to compile a free plans list. And also I'm looking for any of you who have modified my plans. I consider all of my plans open source plans. So if you want to take those and hack them and modify them any way you want and upload your version, that would be pretty cool. Another thing I'm looking for is from those of you who are good writers and would like to write up some how-to articles. Say if you're building a project, just take your camera with you and take a bunch of pictures of kind of important steps along the way. Write up an article about it and I'll post it on the website. You can include your contact information, your website, and you know, it might be a little bit of promotion for you and I'll help promote it also by posting it on all the various social media networks. And so I think that would be a win-win. And especially for those of you who may not be want to shoot video, just take some pictures of what you're doing. But of course, if you don't want to do any of that, you can post pictures of your projects and describe them in the Mimo community section of the website. And that's really fun and I really popular. I'm really having fun looking through all of the, the new posts every day and the new pictures people are posting on there. I just posted the very first Mimo newsletter yesterday. I hope you've signed up for that so you'll get that in, in your email. You can also look at it online and that was the very first issue and I hope that grows and changes a lot. Um, but save that first issue because someday it may be worth something. Keep it in its original wrapper and then you can sell it on eBay for twice what it's worth. <laughs> hey, you want to see what I got from Andy Aitken in Australia? Do you know what this is? This is a window visor for a car or truck. But do you know what that is? Bunnings Warehouse. That's the Australian equivalent of the Home Depot. He sent me a USB drive with all of these old woodworking books from like the 1900s and it was it's really cool. And I want to make the first announcement for the Mega Mimo Meetup number two, which is going to happen this year in Kansas City. I'd like to make the Mega Mimo Meetup even mega-er this year. I'm looking for anybody who knows somebody or is an event planner Contact me and I've got some questions for you too. And maybe we could work together. I caught a little bit of flack the other day for posting my good guy tool rules <laughs> in which I was suggesting that maybe we don't be so protective with our tools and if somebody asks to borrow tools, we let them. Anyways, there's an article on my website. I hope you'll check out and leave your opinion. I first posted that on Facebook and I really wasn't expecting that reaction I got to it. It was probably 80, 85% of the people were just, no, no, we do not lend tools to anybody. I understand a little bit of that uh, attitude, but I also think that it's it, it should be on a case by case basis, and I don't I just don't feel right about having a neighbor coming over and saying, "Hey, I need to hang some pictures on the wall. Can I can I borrow a hammer?" And me saying, "No, you can't have it. These are my tools." I'm not one to make New Year's resolutions, but if I could suggest a couple of things for all of us to try, the first is just try to be the good guy woodworker. Be the guy in the neighborhood that everybody wants to come to for help with things, and just just by helping somebody else out and either lending your time or even lending your tools really goes a long way in improving the world. And plus all of that will come back to you when someday you have a problem and you need help with, a lot of people are gonna be willing to help you out too. The second thing I'd like to suggest is that we start making an effort to leave compliments for people. When people are posting pictures of projects that they've made, and I know you're looking through lots and lots of pictures and you can't leave a comment on everyone, but Pick out one and leave that person a comment. Leave them a compliment 
uh, about something specific. It's always better to say, you know, I, I really like the way you did the inlay on that dresser rather than just saying cool dresser. Same with videos. And I'm not talking about myself and my own videos. I'm just talking about in general. If you see a video you like, leave a compliment. Thank that person for for doing the video and find something in particular that you like about that that goes a long way can you imagine the impact we could have if each of us left one compliment a day just a couple of things to think about for 2015 regular project on friday hope to start drawing up some plans this weekend once i can figure out what exactly it is i'm going to do i'll talk to you guys next week